welcome to this new video. I'm Ricardo a Musicus Practicus and today I'm the Basilica of Santa Barbara in Mantua, the church next to the palace of the Duchy of Mantua, the Gonzagas, built in the second half of the 16th century. In this church we can admire and listen to the wonderful organ by Grazia Dio Antegnati, built according to the indications of Girolamo Cavazzoni in 1565. In this video I am going to realize on this beautiful instrument an organ verset by Anonymous Bolognese of the 17th century. Before starting I'd like to thank the administration of this church and this organ. And now let's go! First of all, we have to know the style of this verset. We can notice a two bar melody, each time with a different clef and starting on a different note, A or D, typically of the first tone. All that and the disposition of the first note of each motive means that this verset is written in the first tone. The four entries of the melodies indicate us that this is a four voices verset. The order of the voices entry is cantus, altus, tenor and bassus. After that the verset sings to the conclusion with a final cadence on D. First step, let's play the entire verset. Second step, in the first two bars the cantus only is singing. Let's play now bars 1, 4 following the numbers. In bars 3 and 4 two voices are singing, cantus and altus. Now let's try to play a more graceful melody based on this counterpoint. Third step, let's go on. At bar 5 the rhythm melody belongs to the tenor voice, that means that from this point three voices are singing. Ok, let's play the melody alone. Starting from the last note before the tenor entrance, let's play a counterpoint following the numbers. And now let's add diminutions to make the voices of the realizations more graceful. Fourth step. 
fourth step. At bar 8 we can see the entrance of the bassus. It means that from this point there are four singing voices. Let's play a counterpoint following the numbers. Now let's play the harmonization adding diminutions. Fifth step. From bar 10 to the end the bass is going to conclude with the final cadence. Let's divide the final section in two parts. The first from bar 10 to the cadence at the middle of bar 12. The second from the D of bar 12 to the end. So let's play a simple counterpoint on bars 10, 12. And now let's add diminutions. Sixth step, now let's do the same on the second part, playing only a simple counterpoint. And then adding diminutions. This organ verset finishes with a cadenza doppia, double cadence, or according to Nicola Vicentino, con la sincopa tutta cattiva, with the unprepared syncopation, the fourth. And finally, let's listen to the entire verset from the beginning. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. What I've been doing in this video is an example of what I do in my serious improvisation elements that is an exclusive Patreon. 
In improvisation elements, I show you weekly simple, fun and useful exercises to develop improvisation, harmony and counterpoint at the keyboard. So, for joining improvisation elements, subscribe to the Semibrevis membership on my Patreon and become an improviser as Girolamo Cavazzoni. Thank you for watching this video and thanks another time to the administration of this church and this organ. Stay tuned on my channel for more contents, subscribe, leave me your gamma out and see you in the next video. Bye!